Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making a recipe that is perfect for summertime. It's a recipe from my newest book, Baking All Year Round, and it is one of my all-time favorites because the recipe has coconut in it. And I love coconut. One of my favorite foods. I even named one of my dogs coconut because I love coconut so much. And look at all this coconut. It just smells tropical and like summertime, you know? If you like when I make baking videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. So the recipe that we're gonna be making today are these adorable ice cream cone cupcakes. Years ago, I was messing around with recipes and I tried baking a cupcake in an ice cream cone and it worked. So if you've never tried this before, it's really cute and it's really fun for parties because you can just hold on to it at the party and just nom nom nom. And if you don't wanna mess with the ice cream cone part, just make the coconut cupcake recipe because it is one of my favorites. Now without further ado, let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna do is mix together all of our wet ingredients into a large bowl. And one of the reasons I really love this recipe is it's super simple. It is almost a dump and stir. You just fold in two ingredients after the wet. That's how easy it is. I'm gonna list all of the ingredients and their measurements in the description down below, so if you wanna follow along at home, you can. So in a large bowl, you're gonna add your coconut milk, yum, 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 almond extract, melted butter. Remember, you want your butter to be melted. Not room temperature butter, not cold butter, you want it to be melted. One egg, the full egg, the yolk, and the egg white, and last but not least, the sugar. Then using a whisk, whisk together until well combined. And there you have it. Now we're just gonna fold in two more ingredients and boom, the recipe's done. I mean, that's the cupcake batter. Now you're gonna add your flour, and this is self-rising flour, and some sweetened coconut flakes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yum! Now for this part, we're gonna fold them together till well combined. I like to fold using a spatula, and if you've never folded before, it's very easy. It's a little bit different than mixing, so you're gonna take your spatula, you go underneath everything, and fold over the top and turn. So under, over, turn. Under, over, turn. Just keep doing this until all the dry ingredients are well combined. Blueberry muffin, you are standing on my mark. You're standing right where I need to be for me to bake. I think you know that though, don't you? She's like, oh yeah, I'm smart girl. Coco, will you ask your sister to move, please? Coconut, please, I'm begging you. Please relay to your sister that I need to bake and she's in the way. I love these dogs. They always love to hang out with me when I'm baking. Okay, you guys. Oh, she's laying down. Oh, great. Now she's sleeping right where I want to stand. Okay, I got to move you. I'm so sorry. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here, I'll go get your bed. I'll go get a bed for you, okay? I scooped our coconut cupcake batter into a piping bag right over here just to make this next part a little bit easier. You can just use a spoon and spoon it in, but this batter is very sticky. So I find using a piping bag just a little bit easier. So I'm gonna set it right over here. This part is really fun. We're gonna bake a cupcake in an ice cream cone. To do this, I use this cone cake rack. This rack is the one that I've been using for years and it's my favorite. It works really well with uh, these kind of cones, which are what I like to use. They just stand up. If you can't get this rack or you can't find one, you can get the ice cream cones with a flat bottom and put them on a baking sheet. Just make sure you use like rolled aluminum foil in between so that they won't fall over when they're baking, but you can do that too. But if you are using one of these, you're gonna put it down on top of a baking sheet. I like to do that because the racks in the oven have a bunch of slits in them and you don't want this to fall through. And then you're gonna put the cones right in. Bloop. Just like that. This is so cool. I just think it's so fun and so creative. When a dessert looks like another dessert. Dessert inception. <laughs> Now you're gonna pipe the batter into all of the cones. You're gonna fill them about halfway full. And this is where that piping bag really helps because this batter is sticky. Now our cupcakes are ready to bake. You're gonna pop them in the oven at 350 degrees and bake for about 18 to 20 minutes. 
Now the cupcakes have baked and I'm giving them a little bit of time to cool and while they're cooling, I'm gonna show you how to thicken up your icing so it will hold the shape and look like an ice cream scoop. Now if you're getting frosting from the store that's pre-made, it's usually really soft, it's almost silky and it moves too much. Put your icing into a bowl. This is my vegan buttercream icing, but you can use regular buttercream, anything from the store you found. Now this is a pretty good thickness, but I'm gonna add a little bit more. Work in the powdered sugar and the icing will get thicker and thicker. You don't wanna add too much or when you're mixing it up, it will go poof and you'll get a big poof cloud. So you wanna just add a little bit at a time. For this tip, I don't use an exact measurement. I just keep adding powdered sugar until I get the desired thickness of icing. This is also just a great tip if you're ever making homemade icing and it's too watery, it's too runny. You just add powdered sugar until you get what you want. Time for my favorite part, it's time to decorate. We've got our icing, we've got our cupcake cones. I have this little cute cupcake display. It looks like it's from a diner. I got it so many years ago, I don't even remember where I got it, but it's so cute, it like spins around, and I put a couple of the little cupcake cones in there, and as you can see, the cupcake just bakes right inside the cone. It's so cool, it bakes all the way down. Yum! Ah! I'm just gonna place it here, and I also did an example over here, if you don't have a display like this, you can use, Molly, what is, is this a double shot glass? It's a double tall shot glass. This is a double tall shot glass. I mean, we have a few of these sitting around the house, so. You look at that, the cone just sits right in there. So if you wanna do individuals, you know you can use whatever you got around the house. This part's really fun, because you can customize it. You can pick your scoop size. This is the scoop size I like to do of icing. I think it's really cute. It's kind of a medium scoop. You can go bigger, you can go smaller, whatever you'd like. I'm using an ice cream scoop to make it easier and to really give us that ice cream shape. I'm just gonna scoop it like this, just like you would ice cream. Clicky, clicky, clicky. Come off of that, perfect. Boom, that's awesome. I love when it looks a little messy. It looks like real ice cream, just scooped from a oh, little ice cream shop. Look at that. Now we're gonna do this to the rest of your cupcake cones. After the cupcakes are iced, we're gonna add some more decorations. Starting with melted chocolate, we're gonna make it look like a fudge sundae. Give it those kind of diner vibes. I love that. Oh, in this piping bag, I've just melted some chocolate. You can use any chocolate you've got. You just wanna be careful because depending on what chocolate it is, some are runnier than others. We do want drips, but you don't want it to be too messy. So I'm just gonna make a little bit of splatter, a little bit of drips, kind of like a drip cake, just like so. And if you want to control the drip a little further, what you can do is use a toothpick and you can kind of guide the chocolate, just like that. Now this is a little bit more time consuming, but I love doing these little details. It's really fun and relaxing for me. It kind of reminds me of art, so I like to do it. Also, these additional decorations are totally up to you, they're totally optional. You could just stop right here and have a cute little cupcake ice cream cone, but I'm gonna add just a few more. Let's just put another little happy drip right here, because it makes me happy. Oh, that's cute. All right, then we're just gonna set it down. Chocolate sets very quickly, only takes about five to 10 minutes, and you can also pop these in the fridge. They'll set even faster, like four or five minutes. So I'm gonna let these set, and then we'll add a few more decorations. These little treats are ready for the final decoration details. Over here in a piping bag, I've got some regular icing. I have not added additional powdered sugar to this. This is just regular a whipped buttercream, and it's to look like whipped cream, like on an ice cream sundae, with a tip at the end of the piping bag. This is a number 825, but it's basically an open star tip. So if you don't have an 825, any open star tip will do. To make it look like a dollop of whipped cream, we're just gonna hover over the top, put a little bit of pressure, and pull away. It's just like a little dollop. So here it goes like this, boop, and pull, boop, pull, boop, pull, boop, pull, just like so. Then sprinkle some rainbow non perials They're basically little rainbow balls, little rainbow sprinkles over the top just to give it a little bit of fun. And I know it's weird, but I like the way they taste. They just have a little bit of taste and I like it. 
makes me happy. Then last but not least, we're gonna be adding a maraschino cherry on top to really look like an ice cream sundae. Oh, look how cute. And there you have it. Then you're gonna do this to the rest of your ice cream cone cupcakes and they're ready to enjoy. And ta -da! There you have it. Here are the ice cream cone cupcakes that we made today. I absolutely love this recipe. It's perfect for the summertime, for get togethers, for birthday parties. And if you love coconut as much as I do, if you like coconut cupcakes, you may love this recipe. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be putting the recipe down in the description below. And it's also in my newest cookbook, Baking All Year Round. You can find a signed copy on my website, rosannapantino.com. I'll put links down below to that as well. Please let me know what you would like to see me make next because I'm having fun baking up a storm this summer. Also, if you like these baking videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. All right, thanks for watching you guys. Bye-bye. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you could click up here or up here.